<laughs> Four years ago, I was just a guy who had a crush on a girl who had a boyfriend. And I had to do the hardest thing that I've ever had to do, which was just to wait. For a really long time, that's all I had. I just had little moments with a girl who saw me as a friend. I'll tell you the truth, I used to have a big thing for Pam. Really? You're kidding me. You and Pam? She's really funny. She's warm and she's just If you like her so much, uh, don't give up. I'm in love with you. What? What are you doing? I'm really sorry if you misinterpreted things. It's probably my fault. Not your fault. I'm sorry I misinterpreted uh, our friendship. Jim, I called off my wedding because of you. And now we're not even friends. And I really miss you. I shouldn't have been with Roy. And there were a lot of reasons to call off my wedding. But the truth is, I didn't care about any of those reasons until I met you. I just feel like I've never really come back. It's impractical. I'm not gonna try to get a house like that. You bought me a house! <laughs> I bet Jim got the job. I mean, why wouldn't he? He's totally qualified and smart. Everyone loves him. And if he never comes back again, that's okay. We're friends. Sorry. Um, are you free for dinner tonight? Yes. All right. Then it's a date. There's only one thing that outweighs every other concern. One thing that will make you give up on everything you thought you knew. Every instinct, <laughs> every rational calculation. Some sort of virus. Love. I'm afraid you're gonna resent me, and I'm afraid that this is not you. enough for you, and I'm afraid that I'm not enough for you. Not enough for me? Love suffers long and is kind. It is not proud. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. The greatest of these is love.